Well, I think I fixed the Ford diesel starter. Last year, every time he drank the key, well, at least the first time I started out fine, it would go cha 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 just like it had a dirty battery connection. So, Ford starters seem to have a problem with some other, like some other cars do, with grounding between like the end cap, the center body, the front housing, and of course the brush is ground out in the end cap, so it's got to complete the circuit. And sometimes what happens to for a redneck repair is you just put like a drywall screw or some sort of screw in between the case, and you can get the back cover to ground out to the central body. So I took this one all apart, brushes were good, nothing looked burnt, everything seems fine. And I cleaned off the bolts where they make contact here, cleaned off the contact points, cleaned off the mounting plate contact point to the inside cover, cleaned off here, took the bolts off there and cleaned them all off in the wire brush and cleaned all contacts hooked it up to booster cables on a battery and it seems to work fine so now I'm going to put it back in and see if my diesel truck will start at least with a key it still was running by bum starting of course ain't she sweet not many tools required to put it in but it's never enjoyable crawling underneath and getting up in there but should still only be a one beer job well, that went in no problem. I had to hook the battery wires up and see if that was actually the fix for it. Well, that much time later, we're ready to see if it's going to start. If the battery survived the winter. Oh well, better not step there. Well, feels like a Ford, not a Toyota. Clutch. Neutral. What the hell? That's exactly the same thing as last year. Don't tell me there's a wiring problem. It's not the starter after all that work. Damn it! Plan B. Gee! Oh man! I need another beer. Piece of shit!